there! My name is Victoria and today I'm going to show you the common causes along with the ways to fix it, the HTTP error 500. Let's dive in! If you ever encountered the HTTP error 500 in WordPress, don't be too alarmed as it's one of the most common issues among WordPress webmasters. That said, there are many causes behind this error, so identifying the underlying reason for your website's HTTP 500 internal server error might take some time. Let's go over each of the common causes along with the steps to troubleshoot this error. If the actual data on the website doesn't match the stored cookies and cache, it might cause the 500 internal server error. As a website owner, you can try checking if the problem actually lies in your browser by clearing the cookies and cache. Here's how to do it on Google Chrome. First, click on the three dotted menu button on the top right corner of your browser. Then choose Settings. Click on Privacy and Security from the menu on the left side of the screen. After that, select Clear Browsing Data. Tick the cookies and cache on the pop-up menu, then hit the Clear Data button to finish the process. If the problem persists even after clearing the cookies and cache, it's time to move on to other possible causes and check if the issue lies in your website's backend. The most common cause of the HTTP error 500 on WordPress websites is a new plugin activation. If you encounter this error right after installing or updating a plugin, try deactivating the plugin to see if that's the culprit. There are two simple ways to do this troubleshooting method. The first is via the WordPress dashboard and the second is through your hosting's account file manager. So first, let's try it via the WordPress dashboard. Access the WordPress dashboard, go to the plugins menu, then choose installed plugins. Here, you will see a list of your website's installed plugins. Tick the plugin option on top of the list. Next, choose deactivate from the bulk action drop-down menu, then hit the apply button. Don't worry, you won't lose any data just by deactivating plugins. Now, refresh your website and see if the error is no longer there. If the error still persists, reactivate all your plugins and move on to other troubleshooting methods. If the issue is solved, now you need to find out which plugin caused the error. Reactivate your plugins one by one and refresh the site after each activation. If your website loads properly after reactivating a plugin, then you can leave that one enabled. If you are still seeing the error message, you can finally know which plugin is the source of the problem. Delete the plugin from your WordPress dashboard and find another plugin with a similar function to replace it. Now let's do it via File Manager. An alternative method is to disable or remove plugins through the File Manager directory on your hosting control panel. I will show the steps using Hostinger's HPanel. Log in to HPanel and navigate to File Manager. Click on the public HTML folder, then open WP Content directory. Now locate the Plugins folder to find the plugin files. Right-click on Plugin File, then choose Rename. Add an underscore and type the word disabled after the plugin name to deactivate. Hit the rename button, then refresh your website to see if the error is resolved. If it's still showing the HTTP error 500 message, repeat the process until all plugins are deactivated or until you find the website is working again. Once you find out which plugin caused the error 500, delete the file. You can try to reinstall it or find another plugin with similar functionality to replace it. If you still encountered the error even after deactivating all plugins, move on to the next troubleshooting option. Similar to plugins, a new or updated theme can also cause the HTTP 500 internal server error. To fix this, you can simply change the website's existing theme. First, let's try to fix it via the WordPress dashboard. From the WordPress admin area, go to the Appearance menu, then choose Themes. Click the Activate button on any other theme except for the current one. Refresh your website to check if the problem persists. If yes, move on to other methods. Alternatively, you can change the WordPress theme by editing MySQL database via phpMyAdmin. 
here's how to do it from HPanel. Log into your HPanel, then go to File Manager and open the public HTML directory. After that, open the wconfig.php file to find the name of the database for your website, which will be shown in the db underscore name line. We will use this information to enter phpMyAdmin. While still opening the file manager, go to the wp content directory and open the teams folder to check all the available teams you currently have. Now let's navigate to databases menu on the H panel. Choose phpMyAdmin and enter the phpMyAdmin of your website's database. After that, head to WP Options table. Find the template and style sheet rows, which are usually located on the second page. Next, double click on each row to edit the team name and change it to any of the teams installed other than the current one. Make sure to type it identically to the team's folder name. Once it's done, go back to your website and reload it. If the problem persists, let's try to find other possible causes. Another way to solve HTTP error 500 is to make sure your current HD access file is not corrupted, otherwise you will need to create a new one. Open File Manager and navigate to the public HTML directory. After that, locate the HD access file, right-click on it and choose Rename. Create a new name for the file. Here I'm simply adding underscore disable to the existing name and then press the rename button. After that, select new file, then name it HD access. You will see a blank page like this. If it doesn't automatically open, right click on the file, then select edit. Copy the default WordPress HD access code from the official WordPress site. I'll put the link in the description box below. Then paste the code in the new HD access file. Hit the save button and now you have a brand new HD access file running on your WordPress website. If your website still shows the HTTP error 500 after reloading, let's move on to another way to fix it. Memory limits or an insufficient PHP value can be a reason causing the HTTP error 500. This is due to the fact that the scripts and plugins require a certain amount of memory to work. To fix this issue, you can increase the PHP memory limit by editing the HD access file manually. Go to your H panel, open File Manager and navigate to the public HTML directory. Double click on the HD access file, then paste the code lines to increase the PHP limit. You can find them in the description box of this video. Click save and after that refresh your website. If the error 500 is related to insufficient PHP values, your website should load just fine. If not, let's try another option. Finding the cause behind the HTTP error 500 is arguably the toughest part of fixing it. If none of the previous methods fixes the issue, you will need to investigate further as there might be other unknown errors occurring on your website's backend. There are several ways to find out. First, you can try to fix the unknown error by enabling the error display through your hosting account's PHP configuration section. On H panel, access it by navigating to the advanced menu, then choosing PHP configuration. Switch to the PHP options tab and tick the log errors option. After that, scroll down and hit the save button. If your site encounters a PHP error, the system will automatically generate the error log file. You can find it by going to the file manager, then heading to the logs directory. Find the error log file. This contains error log messages, including the date it occurred, the type of error, and the details of the file and the code line to correct. Another option to try is restoring your website back to the version where it was functional. You can do this manually via File Manager or use WordPress plugin. If you conduct regular website backups, this can be easily done by navigating to Files then Backups on HPanel. We have a complete video tutorial on how to do this, so you can follow the steps there by finding the link in the description box below. And that's it! A few methods on how you can troubleshoot the HTTP error 500 on your WordPress site. 
If the problem persists, even after trying all of the methods presented in this video, contact your hosting provider for some technical assistance. If you are able to successfully troubleshoot the error, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with anyone you think needs to see this guide. If you have further questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to help. Hit the subscribe button for more videos about web hosting, websites and WordPress development. See you in the next one.